Hey guys, this is Kenny. I'm here with my 1950 Western Electric 500 set. The 500 set began, began production in 1949. This one is from December of 1950. It has different network dates from in the year of 1950, but the base date is December. It any 500 from 1950 is really hard to find. And I was lucky to get this one on eBay for about thirty dollars. Um, this phone has the early seven A dial instead of the seven D. They wind up and release a lot more smooth than the seven D dials did, in my opinion. It has the early straight handset cord. Now I'll let you see the bottom. The, for the dates. Uh, all the later 500s were marked up at the top. Their date and model number and model code would be right here. The, early, the earlier 500s they marked AB instead of CD like the laters. Um, a being manual and B being dial. Uh, it doesn't have the date up at the top. It, it's actually down at the bottom, which is one of the easy way to distinguish these. It's marked 125500 AB. And this has the another way to tell is the little rivet here for the equalizer that is inside. I don't know what the 7 4 is. I'm, it's been to a refurbishing, so I'm sure that's some refurbish mark. The feet are the rubber kind, and there should be leather feet, but that was probably those. These were replaced when the uh, phone got refurbished. It has the 425A network and with a date of April 1950. And then the network model number right here is 425A. These are completely different than the 425Bs, and I have one for comparison in a moment that I'll show you. The ringer is not a C4A, it's a C2A. And I'll show you that stamp right here. They didn't stamp it over here on top of the coil, which this one's dated 1950-12, which is December 1950. Uh, let's see, C2A, and I'm really not sure what the difference was between those. If anybody knows, please let me know. Um, let's see, and then the dial is a 7A from 1951. February 1951, so it's... Oh no, December, I'm sorry. December 1951, it's hard to see the one. The I, I think, stands for the Indianapolis plant, but I am not completely sure. And you can see here the separate equalizer, which had all the handset and uh, handset wiring. So the, yeah, these are quite a bit different. It has the three-point mounting, which is the later had just the two posts right here and you drop the dial straight down but on this you have to slide the dial up and in which I can't really do with one hand um, I'll show you the 500 from 1955 which has the later date it has a later date and a different the 425B network and I know it's missing a screw. As you can see, they got rid of the equalizer over here. Two point mounting. This one has got a self contained network. It's from 1155. And the C4A ringer. And this would have a 7D dial because they stopped making the 7A in 19. 53 I believe 
and if this still has the marking up here, it's not very clear, but it does. See, it, it says CD 500-1155. It has the leather feet, which I'm going to take off and have these, this, the 1950 phone, 500, sent off, and I'm going to have these feet put on that 500. So, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, uh, we'll have more videos out soon.